Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. What's up everyone and welcome to round three front nine coverage here at the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour in Tampere, Finland. This coverage is brought to you by Natural Born Disc Offer. Thank you guys for sharing it with us at Gatekeeper Media. This commentary is brought to you by Parked Podcast. My name is Mitch Phillips. Joining me is my good friend and co-host Hayden Ricard. Let's get into this final round, dude. Yeah, final round. How are you feeling? And I'm excited. We saw some really clean rounds. One of those being from Lori Leitzenen with a great back nine. Speaking of a great back nine, um, Ida Makala making what a is charge. This? One bogey on the round. If he can continue that, my goodness, getting in the mix. A lot of birdies here. Also from Jonas Alto, a familiar face from stop one and Tali. Birdieing 16 and 17. Yeah, that's huge. And Nicholas Antala. Great front nine. Had some trouble there at the end of the back, but um, that's where the trouble usually comes, at 13 through 17. Um, but checking in on the leaderboard, a lot of players close. The podium is definitely going to have some mix-up. If Laurie can play clean like he did in round two. He's got it in the bag. five-stroke lead, you have some comfort. But yep. starting off on a hole just like this, par four, 689 feet. OB down the left side and right side once you get into the second shot territory but you want to land right around here with that fairway driver uh, maybe a mid-range replacement and the second shot is really where the difficulty comes in as you have ob left and right and it pinches as these birch trees just seem to get smaller and smaller as we reach the green big numbers can come here but if you really get comfortable with this flip up mid-range straight shot your round gets really easy I love to see these holes, and holy smokes, Lori just pipes it down there. Taking, it's like you could hear me. I mean, I was just like, man, I'm just going to throw this very yeah, clean. I just need to throw a shot. straight flip up mid range to perfection. Vino Makala to match. Very flippy disc there. And Vino is definitely a mid range player. Mm -hmm. That mid range, those I like seeing him throw premium plastic putters. Yeah, we see that from a lot of the Prodigy sponsored players. The mid range lineup and very great, just those low profile throwing putters as Jonas maybe a bit too much turn. May get lucky there with a kick out to the edge. Hoping he doesn't have to go back, being that it is casual. Casual. If you can find somewhere to stand, you can take it. Nikos trying to get out. Came across his body much. a little bit yeah. odd there. I don't know. Oh, oh, and he does and carry far enough. Out. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That must have really gotten a lift there at the end. It had to have. Yeah, I've been... Man, it's really unfortunate for Niklas to start out here. Probably going to have to just pitch out, you think? Yeah, that's definitely what he's lining up. I mean, you're getting the putting stroke warm early on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's a good good choice there. Go into this fairway driver. He throws this disc so well and so often. I Is assume this? It's, oh, uh, what a punch through. If he misses that tree, that's... It's under the basket. Yeah. And Jonas having to do a step out. Yeah, just from that casual... That needs to turn. Yeah, There's not much you can up. do from there. It's such a hard shot to get distance on. Is Vino really going to go glow PA3 twice? Please flip. I mean, yes. Oh, is he, is he in bounds? I don't know. I think he's safe. Oh, he's safe. Uh, oh, my gosh. This man just went putter, putter on a 689-foot hole. Yeah, if you got the, you got the play, I you mean, got the play. He as did, Laurie, I'm sure he did it the other round. Yeah. And that's why he played clean. Yeah, and Laurie with some frustration there at the end of that, being pretty short, maybe circle's edge, maybe a little bit outside. 
Jonas. Leaving the tester. Mm hmm. And Lori started hot with the putter last round. Yeah, let's see if we can get hot again. Oh, just right. Had the right line. Mm hmm. Jonas with a great bid, just a little low. And Niklas here to finish it out. Great putt for the bogey. Yeah, that's, From where he was. Yeah, going OB and then that great second shot. I would assume that yellow Huck Lab disc he throws is some version of an FD. Maybe a FD2. Because it doesn't have the really the big finish of their FD3, but definitely just throws that disc so well. Excited to see him shape some fairways. That's Vino for birdie. Sails right past the basket. Hoping he's not... Okay, he did, he did get... Caught edge, some yeah. trees. Good comeback. Yeah, it'd be pin high after going putter-putter. I mean... Can you ask for more? Mm -mm. Excited to see this card attack hole two. Yeah, we that, saw some that'll be nice highlights to see. in round two. Take us there, Hayden. Yeah, hole two, par three, 407 feet. Sky Heiser, you want to push very far left, but don't want to stall out too much. And the basket is up on this pedestal. I mean, round two, we saw some highlight throws. Yeah, we saw Oscar Vikstrom put it four feet away. Yeah, um, that was impressive. And we saw a lot of our players take a different approach in round two compared to round one. We'll see if they continue this here. Go in more of the inside spike instead of the straight shot to glide. It, to really get onto the green, you have to go a little bit more inside as we see Lori do. And again, oh, sit. he yep. puts it up on one of the pedestals. That'll mm -hmm. be a look for birdie. Yeah, just kind of setting the standard for the card here. Vino doesn't like it. I mean, what do you mean I, doesn't like he it? That is away literally like he was frustrated, but I guess he just. Gangster walked away just knowing <laughs> it was amazing. He's like, that's perfect. <laughs> Jonas to follow. May. Got caught up by a tree, yeah, but, but still, still has open. a look. Yeah, that's an open door putt. Niklas. Let's get three inside the circle. Looks to be a little it's bit. a little stall. Long. Another tombstone or what did you call it so in the first stop the project Disc pro tour we talked about the difference between a land shark and a tombstone apparently i'm the only one in the world that says land, land shark. shark yeah uh, we I, had a resounding I, frustration that it wasn't <laughs> called a tombstone and we need to do a poll here at gatekeeper of is it a land shark is it a tombstone i'm pretty sure it's a tombstone it, it i I'm no longer thinking that it is anything <laughs> else other than a tombstone as we see Nicholas step up to his land shark, a tombstone. <laughs> um, just kidding. You can't help yourself. Oh, God, oh gave it a bid. No, it's definitely a tombstone. I apologize. Yeah, get it right. <laughs> as Lori's with a birdie. Great birdie. Mm-hmm. That's two for two, round two and three, getting the birdie. Let's see if Vino can get his birdie as well. Yeah. Yep. Vino gets Solid that putter stroke. going. Man, he comes that left hip, never breaks it on the pole, just really confident, up putt. to down. Just the most simplistic way to putt. It's Jonas is having to go full stretch here. Yeah. Getting that... The rest of his warm up finishing up. Good on par. Hole two. Nice. Really good par putt there. Showing the athleticism. Two 
Two birdies, two pars on hole two. Hey, let's move on two to hole three. Two birdies there. Par three, 387 feet. Pretty much the opposite of what we just threw on hole two. It's the left to right moving shot. A lot of players going with a mid range to be able to get the glide to carry all the way into the mouth, um, finding the basket and getting on the green. But there's a couple different ways you can play this. The forehand really can't get there the way this shapes up straight at the end. You'll kind of land in that mid circle two area. Going high is a play, but going low works too. Just really trusting the disc. This looks fantastic. A little long? Mm -hmm. Did he go pin long? I think he did go left and long. I mean, to make that gap mm -hmm. is impressive. Vino looking to match that. A little bit of a higher shot. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe a kick left at the end. Or kick. Oh. Yeah. I mean, him. he's just inside. Mm -hmm. It's a great shot. Making easy work of this hole so mm -hmm. far. Oh, just a little bit right. I mean, Let's have a look. Yeah, we fought through. Mm -hmm. It's not on the outside of that. Niklas going to that same fairway driver. Yeah, if you know what this disc is, be sure to let us know in the comments below. I have, he throws it be a, a ton. I mean, it's he throws it on so many different angles. Yeah. This one needs to hold. Get a kick right. A little soft kick right at the end, but he'll be pin high. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you know the, what that Yellow Huck Lab fairway driver is, definitely let us know in the comments. Jonas for his birdie just outside circle one. Ah, oh, just slipped. Didn't get it's the a tough look from it. there, though. Yeah, from that distance, it's really, it's all legs. To not have a full jump putt, mm -hmm. I think, hurt him there. Yeah. Those wood chips kind of getting into the soles of the feet. The Niklas is pin high. Oh, just low. They all really had a look for it so far. Mm -hmm. Lori here with a look in between the trees. Not really able to go to his full stroke there with the thinner of the two trees on that right side. Fine out to pick one up on the leader. Mm. Just off the top. Yeah, having to go to the straddle there. Fortunate to see no birdies here on hole three. Yeah, it was unfortunate to see, but taking a par is no big deal. Just move on, and grab the next one. Yeah, I like the layout here on this track. It just, you never really throw the same tee shot twice, like back to back. Yeah. I mean, you go from this sky hyzer to now having to throw this kind of touchy turnover shot. I mean, it, it's, your foot is just always on the gas and you just hope you're steering the right way is what it feels like not a really a moment to breathe here no definitely not yeah rest of our players tap out their pars Hole four, par four, 860 feet. Gonna have the straight to hyzer shot here. Wanna push as far as you can past this little tree, lay up, get you a good angle to approach the green on your second shot. Yeah, the second shot here is where the difficulty comes in, but we did see in round two, a lot of wind. I mean, we also did see people go around the backside. Yeah, that was, that was something impressive. special. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be I don't Needed. know how much that's going to happen again. Yeah, we'll see. That looks great. Yeah, nothing yep. wrong with landing over there at all. Maybe those little trees come into play a touch, but should be okay. Vino looking to match, maybe get a little bit more distance here. Yeah. 
Yeah, if that yeah. sits, that's really a good spot to be. Jonas going full driver as well. Really trying to get to that left side. Yeah. Sneaky distance there from Jonas. I know. That didn't, I didn't look like that was going. No, it, it had that late kind of flip up and just glide. I love watching his form. He has that kind of his shoulders come through just after his hips, getting that max distance as we see Niklas flip up and just kind of try to miss these. That's... That was a great drive. You could drop a disc anywhere off the drive. <laughs> you could just walk there you cash and drop in, a disc. Yeah, you cash in the coins you've earned from the previous rounds and you just drop it. I mean, that's perfect. This shot. Yeah, this is where it gets just the sky we've seen, kind of we've turning seen shots. some great shots here. Yeah, we saw Seppo in round two. If you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check it out. Just some super creative lines out of the guys in round two. But this is Makala, out quick. But I mean, should have a look to the, the yeah. basket. Yeah, that's about the distance we see most players landing. I mean, eight hundred sixty feet in two and shots. That's far. Is, is a crush, and you have this little bit of an uphill. Niklas in a really good spot here to attack. That's got to flip hard. I mean, that's two full drives. Mm -hmm. Be pretty close to where Vino ended up. Yeah, just behind Vino. Hopefully sat down on the edge there. Getting a little tripped up by his own feet. This looks good if this can just sit down. Yeah, best yeah. look at the bunch I so mean, far. They're all landing in that area because it's full max distance drive, mm -hmm. and it's, that's where that disc is fading out. Yeah, it's hard to get a disc to go that far but have a right finish. I mean, usually if you're throwing an understable disc, it's not going to go as far. So it's kind of this max distance turning shot as you see Jonas. Yeah, this is the mistake to make is just turning it too much, but he'll still have a look at it. But getting that shot and then hooking up at the end, it's just it's a toss-up. It's a combination of, of both. Yeah, to make it's both hard. happen is nearly impossible with the physics of a plastic circle. And Niklas stuck underneath here, underneath a little tree. But still finding the juice. Oh, Gave it a good bid mm -hmm. from where he was. Vino from a similar distance. A little bit cleaner look. Ah, just low left. Jonas here with a full jump putt. Yeah. Not much you can do from there except for lay it up pretty close yeah from that distance the timing is is definitely difficult to to connect it all to stay online glory going for it all mm -hmm. skipping off the top and with the way that lori putts he has that kind of it's interesting when he's outside the circle and sometimes he'll go to this to a uh, kind of stagger but then he'll go back to the straddle but when he goes to that stagger you see his left knee kind of go out almost like barry schultz-esque where he uses that left leg and really kicks off of it, not really needing the jump putt. It's really fun to watch as we see most of our players tap out for par. Lori staying clean so far, and so is Vino. We've gone to hole five, par three, 312 feet, birdie or die here. But bogey comes really quickly with how close the out of bounds there is on the left. It's blind off the tee. So the play here really is to take an overstable approach disc or maybe an overstable fairway. As you see, Lori, I believe, go to a hybrid anvil. Made the correction from last round. Yeah, found the out of bounds last time, and that hybrid anvil is one of my favorite discs in my bag. I've had it for years. It's so so overstable, and it just sticks. Let's see if Vino can match. Oh, 
Oh, sense. yeah. Yep. This would be a really sick ace. Oh, that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Totally blind. Just hearing it. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of the only ones in the course that that's a possibility. It's just yeah, I think so. Low from Jonas that needs to stick. That is wow, hey, actually perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. And you see Nicholas. This has been his play in round one as well. We got to watch him throw this a little bit higher line. Faster disc, less arm speed. Got cut up just a little bit, but still has a birdie look. Yeah, stayed safe. All of our players on the green for birdie. Nicholas here, the first one up. Yeah, yep. solid stroke. Good putt there from Laurie as well. And we saw Niklas do the same, just kind of changing up, going to more of a stagger stance when he needs a little more power. But being able to switch up, going to a straddle, and in between that is such a needed thing. We've talked about it on our podcast too, just with up-and-coming players and then also with players on tour. Like, I mean, we can chat about it now too. I mean, Hayden, it, it really seeming to become that you need a straddle putt. You need the ability to kind of switch up that stance. Or you just got to do it all, man, nowadays. <laughs> There's you just you can't leave a space in your game mm -hmm. because people are going to take advantage of you. Hole six, par three, 400 feet. I don't like this green, but... <laughs> well, it goes back to exactly what we were just saying. <laughs> you have to have a straddle putt. You do. I mean, is if, if, if you don't, you're, you're not really going to have a look at no, this. It, this. I mean, this is a straight... I mean, we've seen some crazy shots on this hole. Yeah, we've seen... But I, mean, I think... We saw in round one, we saw Tua Musk to the sky, like, Anheuser. And then we saw Seppo, two rollers... We saw Seppo go roll over the fairway. Unfortunately, found the out of bounds. Then we saw Oscar Wikström go with mid -range? a mid-range roller that almost worked out. I don't know if that's truly what his plan it, was. It looked like it, but, but I mean, out of his hand, that's what it looked like. Really, the play is just kind of a hyzer flip. Getting yourself on that left side is fine. If you find yourself on the right side, it's really low ceiling, and you're gonna have to really pitch out. But why not going Anheuser flex? This looks great. I like great. this a lot. It's gonna find straight through. Oh my gosh, yeah. it goes long. Yeah. Yeah, when Vino puts that disc just on a slight Anheuser, it, he just finds so much glide. Jonas on a similar. Oh no. It's the only tree that you need to avoid. Mm. And here's the uh, go to fairway. Yep. The money from disc. Niklas. Final making it all the way through the gap there. It's the first one so we've seen, good. I think. Mm -hmm. First one to be able to make it through. Niklas has been using this kind of right side hyzer flip. Not he liking it. it. Yeah, it's a little bit low. Too low and leaking left. It's a par play from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he picked it up in round one. Got to be tough to approach there. Jonas having a lot of disc left here. Forehand is trying to crash it in. Yeah, just trying to break it into there. Get a no-brainer. Yep, that's or, perfect. That's exactly what he wanted. And that's what most players are going to do. I mean, obviously it's not ideal to hit that first available, but no. it's going to be a lot of parts here unless you have a really specific window. Definitely giving it a run. See if Lori has a window here. Pin high inside the circle. Good putt. Finds it. Yeah, he gets that straddle putt going, man. Let's go to the Koti Pizza slow mo. Lori comes down. 
Love that straddle spin putt. And it really came down to his drive, putting him in such a good position yeah. on a really well-guarded green. Our leader staying hot, increasing. We still haven't gotten to Vino's drive here. Oh yeah. Yep. Super easy putt for him. Wow. Definitely the best drive we've seen. Yeah. And look, Lori and Vino, same score. They're matching each other and you're gonna have to have a, some changes happen on Lori's car to Vino wants to make something happen. I mean, being five strokes back, not a lot of holes left. Hole seven, par three, 318 feet, a hole where birdie is very, very simple until your disc hits and rolls all the way down the hill. Hopefully that doesn't happen to our players here. A lot of different options we've seen. What we've seen the forehand not really work out too well. We've also seen this is the play that you see most of the time. Just kind of stand up mid range. That's the first one we've seen on the top of the hill though. That's kind of a scary putt. I think he runs it though. With the way that he's competing with Vino there, I definitely yep. think he runs this. And Vino only throws phenomenal shots when this PA3 is in his hand. Just go in. Ace run? Oh, my goodness. That was Hopefully it's sat. so close. Gosh, the touch with that PA3. I believe this is a PA3 as well. Yeah, it's got to be. A little bit lower. That's got the speed behind it. It'll get skip up. up there. Yeah, get up just a little bit. That's runnable. That's a floaty one. Mm hmm Here's the trusty mid-range from Niklas. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like it very yeah, it's gonna much. going to have that kind of kick to the right. It's going to have to be a layup from that angle. All of I our think. players with a putt, though. Oh, yeah. If yeah. they wanted to run it, I, I think they all could run it here. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're on lead card. Leader has a big stroke advantage. I think we're going to see all our players try to get birdie here. Yeah, I think Jonas is going for this. Ah, oh, just low. Oh, sit. Oh, okay. my. Yeah, and you can see the nerves that and not giving it enough bad. height. Niklas from a similar distance. Going back to the straddle. Oh, really good putt there. Just matching the hillside, nose up the entire way. It's perfect. Here's Lori with his birdie putt. This is a scary one. I mean, being eye level I mean, with this. Knowing that the hillside is on the back. Yep. But, I mean, no nerves from the him right there. Mm -mm. And Vinos must have stuck really close. We go back to Jonas. Good comeback. Yeah. I'm glad it sat. And Vino to match Lori. Good, confident stroke. I like seeing this. I mean, this we clean are... clean front nine gosh, so far. Three in a row. The double turkey dinner for Lori and Vino. Hole eight. Par three, 509. I think you'll see somebody really crush into this and try to push for the birdie. Yeah, the conditions and are good. And it might go OB. I don't know, but, I mean, we're about to find out who really attacks this one. Do they go for the birdie or do they go for the par? Yeah, it's coming down. I mean, we have, what is this, 11 holes to play, and Lori's still with a five-stroke lead. This is it's, it's coming into the point where it's like you can attack some, but you don't need to attack all of them. Yeah. Lori, um, Lori has some space and some yeah. leeway to give. And on holes so like this where we had one player yep. on the front nine, I mean, just go for the birdie. Out. I mean, Oscar Wikstrom in round two. Crushed it. I, he put it, what, ten seven feet, feet away? Yeah. Not even. Within 10 feet. Yeah. Was just gorgeous. And the play he did was more of a flip-up hyzer. Yep. 
getting over all the top the way. of the trees. Yeah, almost clipping the back, going over the top of the spotter. Yeah, you can see both of Lori and Vino just playing for the par, mm -hmm. laying up, and just playing it safe. Yep, similar result there for Niklas. It's a safe play mm -hmm. on on final round. Don't want to do too anything too much fanciness. Yeah, Jonas do the same. Not really and getting everything right off behind too it too much. Our player's kind of in a position where the OB is so close. Yeah, you're gonna want to put it on the right side of the basket for sure. I think if you're half the distance that Laurie is, it's worth a jump. Maybe you're that mid circle too, but from this distance, it's it's iffy. Yeah, it's just not worth it. No, you you do want to do what he did right there, where you want to hit your head on the putt. Yeah, that's <laughs> going that's for worth par. it. It is always worth hitting your head on the basket. Yeah, just really hard. It's parking it. No, don't do that. But oh, yep. I mean, there's another one. Can we get three? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Vino, put it in. That's a... Oh, Vino. So close, man. So far away, You ruined Vino. it, buddy. That's just kidding, really just far. <laughs> You're not hitting your head on that one. Oh, and Jonas matching Vino. They're going to have to step this one off bocce ball style. <laughs> <laughs> that'd have been incredible to see all of them there ring of fire yep just ring of fire just go <laughs> everybody this oh, okay does he have his he doesn't have a bag okay this that would have been the first time on coverage all four players would have Had tapped out with bags on but vino just carrying the cart no he's rolling the cart rolling the terrible cart, sorry. Idea. carrying the cart <laughs> But hey, star par, nothing wrong with that at no, all. No, that's, that's needed. And there were zero players that birdied yeah. that in the final round. And Oscar, I, hope, I would assume, had the only birdie the whole tournament. I think so. He might have. Moving into hole nine, par three, the shortest hole on the course. Definitely still has some teeth, though, being that it's a hallway. And it's such a check in your game. You've thrown as hard as you can. Now let's step up, maybe even throw a standstill putter, as Laurie's doing here. It's, it's just up and down, just... Never really getting a chance as the touch. He gets pretty far. Far, but I think his birdie chance is out. It's a jump putt. This yeah, is where if Fino can put this close, it's going to make that putt really difficult for Laurie. This looks perfect. That, this looks great. Yep, that glow PA3 to perfection. I thought he was about to throw there. And I was like, that's a really weird grip. Did he get you there? He got me a little bit there. He, well, we haven't seen him do that in the, yeah, the way the coverage has been cut so far. But and He made this mistake in round one as well, trying to throw maybe too understable of a disc. He got outside on the right side of those yeah. trees, so he may have a jump putt. I guess that's the error. It's just too understable of a disc, maybe trying to use that left-to-right shape he likes to throw. Jonas going to that trusty beat-in PA3. Perfect. Oh, wow. And almost finding the out-of-bounds. That's all you got from there. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's such a straightforward Simple shot to hole. just yeah. kick left like that. This Lori needs a big highlight putt here to not lose a stroke to Vino. Oh. I thought he was going to do it. That would have been incredible. Jonas for birdie. To go under par here on the front nine. Great putt. Heck yeah. Good way to finish it out. Get some confidence going into the final nine. Oh, 
I mean, this has been a great card so far because, I mean, two bogeys on the front nine? Yeah, for the entire card, two bogeys. That's impressive. That's, I mean, that's why it's lead card final round, but to stay this clean, keep the nerves in check. And I mean, we haven't seen a bogey in eight holes. As Vino finally yeah. picks up a stroke, it feels like they're so much closer. Still a four-stroke lead here for Laurie going into but, the final nine. But I mean, literally toe for toe on the front nine. Yes. It's been great. What a highlight front nine from our lead card here. Doing lead card things. Four down, five down, and one down both for Jonas and Niklas. I mean, let's check out the leaderboard. To the back nine. Seppo Paiu tying it up. Six down. Like we said, the first place had maybe a little bit set in, but it's going to be a battle for third yeah. third place and also for first. I I'm excited to see how it's going to play out. Going to see some more match play, I hope. I mean, that was an incredible That was me. great. I loved it. Be sure to like and subscribe here at Gatekeeper Media, and we'll see you real soon for the final nine here at our second Sir. stop, Prodigy Disc Pro Tour in Tampere. It's been incredible. Yeah. I don't want it to end. This course is beautiful. No. This course is crazy, and I love it. We'll see you for the back nine.